Baby Bubba Goes to Jungle. Once there was a little baby boy called Bubba. Bubba had bright blue eyes and golden curls, and everyone who saw him loved him instantly. He had a nanny called Gigi, who had cared for him ever since he was quite a tiny little baby. She was very fond of him. Bubba's father was an army officer, and they lived in a beautiful white house on a hill. Around the house was a garden, and outside the garden there was a jungle for miles and miles. And all kinds of birds and animals lived in the jungle. Little Bubba liked playing on the patio with his pets. Meow Meow was the cat, and Woof Woof the dog, and they both loved him dearly. Meow Meow never scratched him, and Woof Woof stood on his two hind legs to perform funny tricks to make Bubba laugh. <laughs> Every morning after breakfast, Bubba threw breadcrumbs to the little birds on the lawn. The birds sat in the trees and waited for him and sang about him until he came out of the house. Bubba loved to feed them and play with them. Meow Meow watched the birds, but she never tried to catch them because she knew that Bubba loved them. But one day, when Bubba was feeding the birds, a big snake called Hoodie, who lived in the garden, came creeping up near the veranda. He tried to catch some of the birds while they were eating, but Bubba saw him and called out, "Go away, bad Hoodie! Go away!" Bubba's nanny heard him and came running out to see what was the matter. Seeing her, Hoodie crawled away into his hole under a big tree in the garden. Now Hoodie was a naughty snake, and he was always up to mischief. Hoodie thought it would be fun to take Bubba out into the jungle where the wild animals lived. So one day he went out into the jungle to see an old friend of his, Tig the Tiger, and talk the matter over with him. Hoodie asked Tig if he would like to meet a little baby boy. Tig licked his lips and said, "Hmm, let's see." Then Hoodie went further into the jungle and met Prowl the wolf. How would you like to meet a little baby? Asked Hoodie, and Prowl the wolf licked his lips and said, "Ah,"、uh -huh. and nothing else. A little further on, Hoodie met Bluff the big brown bear and asked him, "What would you do if you saw a little baby in the jungle?" Bluff stood up on his hind legs and said, "Oh, that would be nice, very nice indeed." And then Panda, the big wild elephant, came crashing through the jungle, and Hoodie quickly scurried out of his way so he doesn't get trampled. "How would you like to meet a little?" he screamed out. But Panda made a loud noise with his trunk and ran on. Nevertheless, Hoodie was satisfied and laughed, thinking Panda might trample Bubba when he comes to the jungle. After this, Hoodie went home to his hole under the tree in Bubba's garden, and he watched and he waited. One day, when Woof Woof had gone to chase a wild rabbit, Meow Meow was fast asleep in the sun, and Nanny Gigi went into the house to fetch Bubba's Noah's Ark. Hoodie saw Bubba all alone on the patio. Hoodie slid out of his hole quickly and came near Bubba, waving his head back and forth and shooting out his little tongue while the sun shone on his smooth, shiny skin. Oh, pretty Hoodie," said Bubba. "You're naughty. Go away." "No," said Hoodie sweetly. "I'm not naughty, dear Bubba, and I know where some beautiful flowers grow. Come with me, and I'll show you." "No," said Bubba, shaking his head. But Hoodie continued to look at him steadily, and soon Bubba slid down from the veranda and came near him. Then Hoodie laughed and drew back quickly into the thick part of the garden, and Bubba ran after him.
When the nanny returned to the patio with Bubba's Noah's Ark and she saw his little empty chair and Meow Meow asleep in the sun, she was alarmed and ran around calling his name. Then Bubba's mommy came out and his daddy, and they searched the garden for a very long time, but they could not find any trace of him. Then Meow Meow woke up, and Woof Woof came back, and they both wondered what was going on. Soon, some little birds overhead called out to them to attract their attention. They said, Bubba followed Hootie, the snake, into the jungle, and he'll be lost or harmed by wild animals unless he's brought back. Quick, quick, go after him! And so Woof Woof ran to Bubba's father and mother and tried to tell them. He ran backwards and forwards trying to point to the jungle and he barked and barked. Then Woof Woof set out to the jungle to find Bubba and Bubba's parents followed. Now after Bubba had followed Hoodie a little way through the garden, the snake turned to a little path which led to a broken part of the garden wall. You must crawl through here, said Hoodie. The pretty flowers are on the other side. So Bubba crawled through and found himself in the jungle. Further on, further on, cried Hoodie every time Bubba stopped to gather flowers. There are pretty ones further on. And so Bubba went on and on till he came to where Tig the Tiger lay asleep in the long grass. Now is your time, whispered Hoodie into his ear. Here's the little baby I told you about. And Tig sprang up with a roar. But Bubba wasn't a bit frightened. He only laughed and said, what a big meow meow! And he put his arms around Tig's neck and nestled his head in his soft fur. Tig liked it so much he purred with delight, just like meow meow did when she was pleased. Hoodie was very angry at this, and seeing that Bubba made friends with Tig, he called to Bubba, Come on, let's go find more flowers! And Bubba kissed Tig goodbye and followed Hoodie further into the jungle, till they met Prowl the wolf. Here's the little baby, whispered Hoodie. And Prowl said, Ha! and was going to spring upon him. But Bubba only laughed and said, What a big woof woof! And patted him on the head and looked into his eyes. Prowl then licked Bubba's hands and frisked around him just like woof woof. This is silly, said Hoodie angrily. Come now, it is almost sunset. We must go home. And he led the way to where Bluff, the big brown bear, lived. I've brought the little baby for you, said Hoodie. And Bluff said, Oh, very nice, very nice indeed. And caught Bubba up in his arms and hugged him. Just like my nanny does, laughed Bubba. And he patted Bluff's cheeks and kissed him, and Bluff hugged him to keep him warm. Just then there was a loud trumpeting noise, and Bluff put Bubba down on the ground. Hoodie slid off into the grass, hissing, Now Panda is coming! But when Panda came and saw the little baby Bubba, he remembered that he had not always been a wild elephant, but he had once belonged to a nice man. So he picked little Bubba up with his trunk and placed him gently on his back. And that's when Bubba's father found him, after he followed Woof Woof into the jungle. Woof Woof traced the little boy by his scent and found him riding on Panda's back. Then Panda let Bubba's father sit on his back too. And so they returned in triumph with Bubba and his father on Panda's back, and good Woof Woof barking and frisking by his side. The naughty snake Hoodie went into the jungle and never tried to bother Bubba ever again. The End